Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Woohoo Weekend. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm Diane Evans from stampingwithdiane.com, and I am an a demonstrator in the interior of British Columbia here in Canada. So welcome um, to our event. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I get to show you uh, a stamp set or a bundle that I never would have even thought of using um, or even purchasing for that matter. Um, and I think that's quite funny because this is just not my typical style, but once you start playing with it, holy moly, it's a it's a great um, bundle. It's called the Cutest Cows, and it comes with, oh my goodness, see, now I have to put my glasses on to see. It comes with um, 24 different um, stamp sets or our stamps in here, and these images here are at about 90%, and then, of course, it comes with a punch. Who doesn't love a punch, right? So, um. Later on, I'm going to show you some um, some tips and tricks with this punch, but we're going to go ahead and do the card first, and then I'll show you the tips and tricks afterwards. I know that sounds a little crazy, but that's the way that it works the best for me. Okay, so um, let's get started on this card. I'm doing, I know this seems a little silly, but I'm doing a barn fold card. Um, just not that because it it goes with cows but i'm just doing it because it, it kind of is a fun fold that i kind of wanted to do so all i've done is i've taken a half a piece of cardstock i've scored it in half and then when i cut this part off here this is halfway in between and when it opens it's just going to be a fold that just goes like that so it's relatively um it's very, very simple, actually, for what it is. Hello, how are you? All right, so I also have a piece. Um, this piece is, it's, I have to measure it because I know it's a little bit different. It's one and three quarters, one, two, two and three quarters by four inch. And this piece actually, I'm just going to show you, is going to go on here. But because of the way that I'm actually going to do and what I'm going to do with this, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to do something with this. Where I'm going to show you a different way of cutting it. And then that's how we're going to decorate the rest of the card. And then, I, of course, I've got the inside piece of the card, which is a quarter of an inch or five cent centimeters of an inch smaller. So let's get started on this card. I've also gone ahead, and this is Granny Apple Green, and I have cut these um, dies from the Sending Love Bundle. Um, I love the grass the shapes that are in there, so I just cut a couple of those because I'm not sure exactly how many I need. Another thing that I'm using today are the basic borders. And I'm using this one here, which cuts out the clouds. And you can tell I've used this quite a bit. I just plop it back in there. But I want to have a bit of a sky image on there on the back. Okay, so let's get going on this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I am taking this stamp set because I, I want the flowers to be behind there and I'm going to be coloring and I've done a lot of my coloring already. I'm going to be coloring with um, my Stampin' Blend so I'm going to use my Memento ink on there. But you'll see what I'm going to do here in just a second and then I am going with this and I'm going to go right near the top on here. And I, I know it's too big, but by doing it this way, what I'm going to do is I'm showing you how I want these flowers to be just a bit above this end of the, um, the barn fold. So now what I'm going to do is I'm coming in with my trimmer. Now this happens to be two and two and three quarters. Yes, two and three quarters wide there. I want to cut this down to two and a half, but I don't want to cut off my flowers. So all I'm going to do is so two and a half that I want to make. I want to make sure that I've got that right. No, that's two and three quarters. Yeah, two and a half. So all I'm going to do is I, and this is going to be a little bit different on the other one. 
I'm just coming and cutting some there and then I'm coming over here and cutting this down here. And then what I'm doing is when this comes on here, hello, Nancy, when this comes on here, what's going to happen is these flowers are going to be a tiny bit above the barn door. So I just come in and just going to fussy cut this part. And remember, when you do fussy cut, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you move the paper. You guide it. You drive it. Drive the paper. You don't drive the scissors. So I'm just going to come in here. Like I say, this is not my normal type of card to do. I... I am more um, into florals and more nature type scenes, but honestly, this is really lots of fun. So this is just gonna get cut straight across there and see how this is just gonna go on here and it's going to be a tiny bit above there. So I've actually gone ahead and I've colored it. Um, and all I colored this in was in uh, daffodil, Delight Pumpkin Pie and Old Olive with my blends. And I'm just going to put that onto there like that is how it's going to go. And see behind the barn, it shows there. But I want to come in and I'm going to grab some Old Olive. Now, Old Olive, I want to have kind of a grassy scene on the front or in front of the barn. So I'm going to do that. And I'm coming in with my blending brushes. Who doesn't love these blending brushes? My goodness, they're, they sure have saved our, um, we've, we've done so many different things with blending brushes. And like I say, I just want to go in, just get some of that grass color in there. And I'm actually going to go behind these flowers as well. And then there's a little tiny stamp in this stamp set. Just trying to keep everything out of the way here. And it's just, just this grass here. And I'm just going to come in and grab some of that. Put that on one of our smaller blocks. And then I'm just going to stamp this. And we're going to do it just random. It might be a little bit just like so. And I might add some more on that afterwards. All right, so we have that part done, but we're gonna skip very quickly and we're going to do the inside of the card. Now, is this the right piece? Yes, it is. Now, remember I said that I used the bordering dies here. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going about doing this. I really like this color with a pool party. And so I'm gonna do my clouds in pool party. So the way I do it is I just come in and I just do it lightly and I don't do it all in one, one way. Like I, I mix it up different levels, like whatever, like that. So I'm actually gonna go and I want to bring this down about here and I'm gonna end it with a tiny bit of that mossy meadow in there, right? I'm uh, not mossy meadow, the old olive so just like that and it's just giving just a very very faint sky in there so you can see that I'm just gonna fix that thing there there we go and then I'm gonna come in again with that old olive and we're just gonna put some of this old olive down on the bottom so that's our inside gonna be the inside of our card and it's just gonna go in just like that. I'm wondering, is that, are you seeing it? I don't, I'm not sure that you can see that. I see I've got some glue on there. So let me just come in here and just take that off. 
off of there. Okay, so let me put this in because I can go ahead and put this in on the inside. I'm just using my Tombow glue. I like using this because I have wiggle room on here. And let's go put it right, center that there. Push that down. Oops. And then that's going to go like this. So see, it's kind of giving us a barn door image. But of course, now we need to have some of our stuff on the inside of this. So like I say, I still have this grass cut. So let's come in with the spare piece. And like I say, in just a bit, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on the um the cow lining up the um the punch and a couple of other things with the punch but i've decided that i'm going to do that as a separate cover on a separate video because otherwise this video would have been way too long for you all right so i'm just going to go ahead and what i usually always do is look at my, oh, my dot there look at the bottom of my punch and then just go in and just put that right on there and if I'm going to be doing any other stamping on here I want to make sure that I punch this first so let's go ahead and just punch this and I just rest my hand down on the table I'll also tell you what all these other little bits and pieces are on the cow punch all right so we have that and then we have are um the other cow and the other cow is one that lays down and i think this one's a steer if i'm not mistaken but we're not going to worry too much about that now unfortunately there's no punch for this so we're going to have to fussy cut it which i've already gone ahead and done so I've got that fussy put, um, cut for us there. And then what else are we going to do? We are also going to go ahead and let's stamp the little rooster. And we're going to have to fussy cut that guy out. And then we've also got the pail. And that's going to have to be fussy cut as well. But I have gone ahead and done that. And I've also gone ahead and colored it. Because I'm actually going to be very simple with the way I'm coloring my cow. Um, here in British Columbia, these are like a dairy cow. And all I'm going to do is I am just going to color it black. So we'll cut, go in, and this is a light stamping blend, and it's the black one. And I'm just using the bullet side. Here. And let's see, we'll color this guy right here too. And then let's do this one as well. So like I say, I've done most of the coloring because it for the sake of our life, right? Oh, thanks, Jackie. Okay, so now, I also want to go in with my um, pecan pie, and I'm going to color the hoofs, and I'm going to just do them light. Like I say, pretty simple coloring on, on the cows. Oh, and you know what? The thing of the tail should also be the thing of the tail, the tail should also be black. Um, where I live, we don't really have dairy cows. 
we have we're more ranching countries so we don't have um, there we go there. and then I thought what's really good with the muzzle I can come in with my my petal pink and I'll probably do the light petal pink that's dark enough and do it also on this one. And of course the horn should also be doing in the pecan pie. All right. So we kind of have all of our pieces together that I think we're going to use for this. If I decide I'm going to use something else, I guess we'll just have to go ahead and do that. Now, like I say, I wanted this part to kind of the flowers to go above there. So I can go ahead and put this on here. Now I want to make sure that I don't put any glue up here, right? I know that sounds pretty elementary, but I, when I haven't mentioned it, it's gone up there. All right, so just like that. And then we also have to figure out what sentiment I want to put on there. I really like this one, holy cow, it's your special day. Or I like this one, milk it for all it's worth. It's kind of fun. All right, so here's my standing cow. So I'm gonna have it go here. And I'm gonna have this go like so. And then this one here, I'm going to have overlapped a bit. So see, that's going to go like that. And I, of course, I want to pop it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this up. Now, this could have been a really good tip for you guys. Um, I mark my, I, I just run um, one of my blends along on my dimensionals. And that's just so that... I can find them on my table. I know. So this is just going to go here with this one here. So the um, dimensional is just going to go up at the top there. So come back in about ooh, 10 minutes or so. Um, can't remember exactly when I was going to come and do this, but um, I want to show you some tips and tricks. So this is just going to go down here. Now you notice I'm also putting the dimensionals in another spot other than where they are, like if it's going to overlap there. I'm And the head's going to go right about here. So I'm just actually going to bring it up a bit. Or do I want to bring it down? I think down and there. But with the dimensionals, that way that it's not going to be a lopsided card. So let's just put this here. Like I say, this is not my normal type of card, that's for sure. And let's put another one of these dimensionals on there. Whoops, can't even get them off. All right, and then like this. So we've got our cow kind of going like that. And then I did go ahead and I colored just this rooster and the milk jug. And I'm just actually going to put those down there. And I'm going to use dimensionals as well. Oh, I shouldn't be using dimensionals because this is on the inside of the card. Never mind. I'm going to take that off. And I am going to just glue that. Whoops, and that's a lot of um, stuff on there. If that ever does happen to you, just take a spare piece and just take it along there and just take some of that glue off. Otherwise, it's going to ooze out and that top part is going to um, stick there. Now, I colored this... Um, milk jug. I did it in gray granite. I'm a big lover of the gray granite. And then I also went along the outside with pool party. And what that does is kind of 
outlines and brings it up. And I did the same thing with this rooster as well. Didn't want to put too much on this card. Like I say, we have to figure out what we're going to put for the sentiment. So we have that. You know what? I've got some sort of a blotch up there. All right. Okay, so we could have put more flowers on there, but I thought that would be actually enough. So what I'm going to do now is I want to do, holy cow, it's your special day. So because it's a photopolymer, I can go ahead and use this. And where's that holy cow? I just, I think that's just so appropriate for this particular holy cow. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Now, normally what I do is I stick this down here and then put it on. There we go. And I should have come in with my, this one here. So I'm actually going to do that because we're going to put this here. So I'm going to go, holy cow, it's your special day. And let's go ahead with our memento. I'm, you know, I shouldn't have done this this way. I am really taking chances of doing this. Holy cow. Oh, thank you. So holy cow. And then we're going to go in. It's your special day. And should I do it right below it? Hmm, let's see how I want this. Do you use a spare piece of paper just to see how you want it to go? Let's see if I go there. And then if I put this right underneath. No, oh, that'll work. You know what's going to happen with that? I'm going to get that black on the back. So I'm just going to come in here, put it on this mat. Holy cow. It's your special day. There we go. And then we want to use some embellishments on there. I'm not using any twine. I would normally be a linen thread person. I do have a couple of options with embellishments. I thought I could use my basics and maybe go in with black, which would look kind of cute. These cork rounds would look kind of cute too. But I'm thinking I'm going to do it up in the sky area. And I have these. These are the rainbow dots that go with the balloon one. And I think I'm going to use those ones. But we'll try it anyways. If we don't like it, we'll just remove it. That is the beauty of... Um, my goodness, where is my... Why does that happen? I've got... Here we go. No, that's not the right one. I haven't got the right end on there. Hold on, just for a sec. Wow. You know, I must have about five or six blend. Um, take your pick tools. And do you think I could find one on this desk? No. So let's just go in here. And what I want to do is I'm going to put one there. Let's put one right there. And let's go and put another one down here because I do have to cover that piece up. There we go. Now watch, I'm going to switch that just like so. There. So it's kind of in a proper way. All right. So there's our card. And that is using the cutest cows the punch and the stamp set. Let me go in and show you that. So just like that. Like so, and then it just comes in like that. So we'll see you in a couple minutes and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on the punch and the stamps. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.